In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT weighing scale using HX711 24-bit analog to digital converter, a 5 kg load cell or strain gauge, Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, Arduino, and a cell phone application designed in Blink. Later in this tutorial, I will explain why I'm using Arduino with the Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. With this DIY low-cost IoT weighing scale, you can measure and monitor weights from anywhere around the world. For the demonstration purposes, I'm using some known weights 50 grams, 100 grams, 200 grams and 1 kg. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an advanced level IoT based real time earthquake detector and early warning system using multiple node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi modules and SW-420 vibration sensors. With the help of this project, the earthquake detection system can be installed in every city which will make a complete wireless network. And every earthquake monitoring device which is represented by the green dot can be monitored in real time using the IoT platform. Due to the real-time monitoring, we can easily predict in which direction the earthquake waves are traveling. This way the people can be informed in time before the earthquake hits that area. Each earthquake sensor data will have the date and time information as well. For the practical demonstration, I have only considered two locations, Peshawar and Noshera. Later, you can increase the number of locations. Each time the vibration is detected, the value on the chart is updated in real time. And if the vibration crosses a certain predefined value, emails are sent to the concerned person along with the date and time information. In today's episode, you will learn how to make the most efficient password protected dot lock security system using Arduino and a keypad. When you enter the correct four digit password, the door is opened for five seconds. Currently, the password is 1234, which you can change in the programming. You can even select a password consisting of more than eight digits. I have checked this password door lock security system many times and it worked perfectly. If a wrong password is entered three times, the person is locked out for five seconds and an LED is turned on which can be replaced with a buzzer. The number of wrong attempts can be increased or decreased as per the requirement. The Internet of Things based fridge or smart IoT refrigerators are becoming very popular because with the help of a smart IoT refrigerator you can check the temperature, food items, expiry date, door opening and closing status from anywhere around the world using the Wi-Fi technology. In this episode, you will learn how to convert any fridge or refrigerator into a smart Internet of Things based fridge or refrigerator using a push button or a limit switch. Note MCU ASP8266 Wi-Fi module, a variable resistor. DS18B21 wire, waterproof digital temperature sensor capable of measuring the temperature from minus 55C to 125 centigrade and a cell phone application designed in Blink. The values are updated every second. The notification messages are sent to the owner each time the temperature increases above or decreases below a certain predefined value which can be adjusted using a variable resistor. 
any value between minus 40 and plus 40 can be selected. This limit is specified in the programming which can be changed as per the requirement. A push button or a limit switch can be used with a fridge or a refrigerator to check if the fridge door is opened or closed. If the door remains open for 3 minutes, a notification message is sent to the owner. The 3 minutes delay can be increased or decreased as per the requirement. The notification messages are sent even if the application is running in the background. If in case due to some problem the Wi-Fi connection is disconnected, a notification message is sent to the owner or supervisor. This project can be easily modified by adding more sensors and some relays for controlling the fridge or refrigerator. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT Internet of Things based notice board using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi Fi module, MAX7219 dot matrix, 8 into 8 LED modules, and Blink application. The scrolling text message on the 8 into 8 LED matrix can be updated at any time from anywhere around the world using the Blink application. The scrolling speed of the text message can be controlled using a variable resistor or potentiometer. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a biometric student attendance system and save the records in a database whether a particular student is present, late or absent. This is a complete wireless system. The transmitter and receiver side has no physical connection. The computer application is designed in Visual Basic 2010 Express Edition. In this project, two Arduinos are used. One is the transmitter, which is connected with a fingerprint module, and the other one is the receiver, which is connected with the laptop. In this episode, you will learn how to accurately measure the water volume using the water flow sensor, Arduino and a 12 volt DC water pump. Working on the water flow sensor is a bit tricky and that's the reason most of the people complain about the wrong values. There are things that we need to take care of while using the water flow sensor. As per the data sheet, when water flows through the rotor, rotor rolls. Its speed changes with different rate of flow. If we can keep the pressure and flow constant, we can make an accurate water volume measurement system. I solved this problem by using a 12 volt water pump. As you can see, each time I press the push button, I get the same water flow and pressure. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based smoke detector system using Node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module, MQ135K sensor and Blink application. The sensor value can be monitored in real time from anywhere around the world. When the sensor value crosses a certain predefined value, a notification message is sent to the concerned person.
In today's episode, you will learn how to reduce distracted driving accidents using only Arduino, MPU6050 and a buzzer. If a driver writes a message and looks down for more than two seconds, the buzzer is activated. So if the driver looks down or looks up for more than two seconds, a buzzer is activated which alerts the driver. This project can also be used as the driver drowsiness detection system. In today's episode, you will learn how to create your own Android cell phone application to control an LED using Arduino HC-05 Bluetooth module and an Android cell phone. For the best understanding, I used only two buttons, light on and light off. These two buttons are used to turn on and turn off the LED. After watching this tutorial, you will be able to add multiple buttons. This LED can be replaced with the transistor to control a relay which can be used to control AC loads or it can be replaced with a MOSFET to control high ampere DC loads. This Android cell phone application is designed and programmed in Android Studio. In today's episode, you will learn how to make an IoT-based water quality monitoring system using Arduino, pH sensor, Node MCU, ASP8266 Wi-Fi module, and Blink application. This is an IoT, Internet of Things based project. The water quality can be monitored from anywhere around the world. In today's episode, you will learn how to make a water quality monitoring system using the Gravity TDS Meter V1.0 DS18B20 waterproof one wire digital temperature sensor and 16 into 2 LCD with Arduino for measuring the TDS value. TDS stands for Total Dissolved Solids. The TDS value as you can see on the LCD screen indicates how many milligrams of soluble solids are dissolved in one liter of water. Many TDS meters display the TDS value in ppm which stands for parts per million. In general the higher the TDS value the more soluble solids are dissolved in water and the less clean the water is. Right now the water under test is excellent as the TDS value is less than 300. The TDS value starts increasing as I start adding the salt. So using this small DIY low cost TDS meter you can find out if the water you are drinking is clean or not. In this tutorial, you will learn how to use the MAX 3100 pulse oximeter with Arduino and display the heart rate and blood oxygen on the 16 into 2 LCD. The heart rate or pulse rate or heartbeat is measured in ppm, which is also known as the beats per minute, while the blood oxygen concentration is measured in percentage. In today's episode, you will learn how to make RFID and IoT based remote access door lock control system using NodeMCU ASP8266 Wi Fi module, MFRC 
RFID module, electronic lock and blink application. With the help of this project, you can remotely monitor your door lock from anywhere in the world with your iPhone or Android device. In the cell phone app, I added two tapes. One is used for monitoring each time a user swipes an RFID card, a message is received. The other tape is used for the remote access control. As you can see, all the buttons are turned on, which means I have given access to all the three users. If all the buttons are turned off, then the users won't be able to open the door lock. In order to open the door lock, permission should be granted by the admin. Let's give control access to electronic clinic. As you can see, only electronic clinic can control the door lock.